Hi everybody, Paul here again. In this video, I'm gonna show step-by-step -step how to apply a vacuum to the air conditioner system of a vehicle. So stay tuned. And of course, as always, I'll have my assistant Sparky helping me. Isn't that right, buddy? <laughs> Whenever parts are replaced on the air conditioner system of a vehicle, which requires removing the refrigerant and opening the system, it's really important after putting it back together to apply a vacuum to the system before adding new refrigerant for two reasons. The first reason is to make sure that it's been reassembled back together correctly with no leaks. The second reason is to remove the air and moisture that enter the system once the system is opened. If you do not apply a vacuum, you'll reduce the heat transfer capability of the refrigerant. This will prevent the air conditioner system from working at optimal performance. If you do not apply a vacuum, you'll also increase the likelihood of corrosion and other problems on the inside of the system. Applying a vacuum will not remove oil from the system and is not the same thing as recovering refrigerant from the system. Applying a vacuum will require the use of a manifold pressure gauge set and a vacuum pump like you see here, which is the best way to perform this procedure. If you do not have this equipment, a lot of auto parts stores will loan these out with a full refundable deposit once you return the items. If you do loan out a vacuum pump, be sure to check the sight glass on the side of the pump to make sure it has enough oil before taking it home. To perform this procedure, first hang the manifold pressure gauge set and close both valves. Next attach the blue low pressure hose to the low pressure side port. Attach the red high pressure hose to the high pressure side port. Attach the yellow service hose to the middle service port. Make sure the hose fittings are snug down properly to avoid any leaks. Next attach the blue coupler valve to the blue low pressure hose. Attach the red coupler valve to the red high pressure hose. Again, make sure the hose fittings are snug down properly to avoid any leaks. Next remove the low pressure side service port cap. Next, turn the blue low pressure coupler valve to the closed position until it stops and then attach it to the low pressure side service port. The low pressure coupler valve will only fit on the low pressure side service port. Next, gently open the coupler valve until it stops. Do not snug it down tight or you may bend the Schrader valve. Next, remove the high pressure side service port cap. Next, turn the red high pressure coupler valve to the closed position until it stops and then attach it to the high pressure side service port. The high pressure coupler valve will only fit on the high pressure side service port. Again, Gently open the coupler valve until it stops. Do not snug it down tight or you may bend the Schrader valve. Next, attach the end of the yellow service hose to the vacuum pump. Again, make sure the hose fitting is snug down properly to avoid any leaks. Now you can turn on the vacuum pump. Next, open both valves on the manifold pressure gauge.
as you can see, both gauges now read below zero, which means it's pulling a vacuum. One common question is how long should the vacuum pump run? As a general guideline, if you replace a Schrader valve or a pressure switch, which can usually be done rather quickly, I'd run it for one hour. However, if you're replacing major components, which usually leave the system open a lot longer, then I'd run it overnight. One big caveat is once you're done pulling a vacuum, before turning the vacuum pump off, first close both valves on the manifold pressure gauge so that you do not disrupt the vacuum. Now you can turn the vacuum pump off. Next, watch the vacuum pressure on both gauges. If after one hour, the pressure remains the same, then this tells us that the system has no leaks. The last thing to do is to close both coupler valves before removing them so that you do not lose any of the vacuum in the system. Now you're ready to have refrigerant added back into the system, which I'll show how to do in another video. I hope you found this helpful, and if you like this video, please hit the like button below, share it with your friends, and please be sure to subscribe. God bless you and have a great day. Bye for now. And while you guys are working on your car, I'll be working on a tan in this beautiful white sandy beach.